Hey everyone, Ben here from 4 Drive, and today we're going to talk about the throttle limit function that's on the 4 Drive controllers. The throttle limit function can be really useful if you don't want the ability to be able to pull 100% throttle. So if you want to be able to pull the throttle trigger all the way in, but it only goes to 70% throttle, you can preset that in the controller functions. So this could be useful if you're a lighter weight rider and you don't need 100% throttle. And by using this throttle limiter feature can also uh, help the feeling of this throttle trigger become smoother and less fine movements required because the same amount of physical movement only controls 70 clicks of throttle rather than 100. And also for less experienced riders if you don't want them to be able to freak out and pull full throttle when they don't need all of that thrust. So to set the throttle limit, we have to go into the controller menu. On all controllers, this is the same. We use the cruise control trigger, press it down and tap the power button. And now we're in the menu. We can see this little yellow arrow in the top left hand corner that is pointing at pairing. We can see the second option is our throttle limit uh, menu. So we need to move that yellow arrow down to that. And by doing a single press of the power button, the little arrow will move down to throttle limit. To select throttle limit, we press and hold the power button and we'll then go into that menu. And we can see here the throttle limit is currently set to 100% because that's what it is from default so that you can pull the throttle all the way in and you'll get 100%. But if you want that to say to be 50%, we need to change this number. So we press and hold the power button and we see the last digit is flashing. If we wanted to change it to 55, we'd have to put the, the five in there, but because we're gonna to go to 50, we leave it as zero. So we press and hold again, and we go to the next digit. And this one we wanna to move to five by single pressing the power button will increment up those numbers. Now that we're at five, we can press and hold, and we wanna get rid of the one. So we tap through lots of little presses until it scrolls all the way through to zero. Now it reads zero, five, zero. We press and hold again and it stops flashing. And now we've set the throttle limit to 50%. To exit this menu, we tap the cruise control, tap it again, and now we're back into the main screen. So it's worth noting that the throttle limiter is only affecting the controller and the trigger and how much this unit can command a throttle percentage from the foil drive. Whereas when you go and connect to your Gen 2 system using the Bluetooth app, that is affecting and tuning the motor system to what level of thrust it can output. So these things do work separately. And if you have both a throttle limiter set on the controller and a low power mode set on the app, that will have an even further reduced effect than if you had high power and 50%, you would actually end up with more thrust. So just keep that in mind that those two systems do work separately and throttle limiter is only talking about how much this trigger can command from this box. The controller will work as per normal up to 50%. So if I pull the trigger a little bit, we get all of our incremental throttle movements, but now full trigger movement only brings us to 50% throttle. So this means that the this means that the full movement of our trigger now only controls 50% of our throttle range. So for every millimeter of movement, we're controlling less clicks of throttle. So it becomes less sensitive the, when you do this, but it does mean that you will only ever be able to get to 50% throttle with this setup. So it can be useful for some things, as I said earlier, with lighter weight riders, or if you don't need full throttle, or if you're trying to be conservative because you get very trigger happy when you're out in the water and use lots of throttle when you don't need it. Can also be very useful for training purposes. If you want to try and get better at foiling without using the motor, you can lower the assistance that you get from the foil drive. So you can just pull full throttle and you get 50% and you've got to work harder paddling or pulling on your wing. So it can be a really good training tool as well to play with to lessen the assistance that the full drive gives you. As funny as that sounds, some people like doing that. So that's the uh, throttle limit function. Don't forget to turn it back off or put it back to 100% if you do want the full range of motion because you will give your foil drive to a buddy, he'll pull the throttle and only ever get to 50%. So make sure you put that back. 
but a very useful feature that's in the controller to set up a throttle limit.